Hello, you guys. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name's Anita, and I am doing my cash stuffing today. I am currently working on paying down a ton of debt that I'm in. I've paid off about five grand, almost six grand, probably six grand now in the past about two months. So that is what we're doing here on this channel. Um, if you are new here, go ahead and like this video and hit that subscribe button. I am doing a giveaway at the end of June. I've decided that I'm going to do a $50 giveaway. So that can be a Venmo, PayPal, or a gift card um, of your choice. I'll be funding that using my Upside app, which I've earned cash back on purchases from gas. That link is in my bio if you're interested. Uh, so welcome everyone. We are going to jump right into my cash stuffing after I show you my debt update. I was able to pay off $500 this week and um, coming up here, I have someone checking in tomorrow. So I'll be able to put another 700 towards this and then next week I'll be able to put 1700 towards this debt that I'm working on. So that is all very exciting. But let's do my cash stuffing. Starting out with groceries, it's going to be getting $40. Ooh, we have some money left over. We have 10 left over. So I roll this over into the next week. So it now is at 50. If you are new here, I use the Upside app, like I mentioned, for gas purchases. That's why I don't have a gas envelope. I just budget gas into my weekly budget and use my card to pay for that. Eating out is going to be getting 10. I didn't have, oh wow, I did not even know I had $30 still in there. That's awesome. So we're now at $40 for eating out. Um, I did not have as good of a week this week with Instacart and stuff like that because I didn't do it Saturday. I worked my waitressing job instead. Gas station snacks is getting skipped. Um, so we don't have as much money to work with this week, but that's okay. At least we have some. Car wash is getting a dollar because that's just how it worked out. I like to do even numbers um, when I do my cash stuffings. So we're stuffing $600 today. Put that there. And rent is going to be getting 100 We skipped it last week because I paid my rent early. Today is the 5th of June. So... This needs to be 4.15 by the 1st of July. So we're gonna put $100 in there. I have this 50, but I don't really know. I guess I could figure out where that's gonna go. I don't typically like to use 50s, but that's okay. So $100 into rent. Airbnb needs is getting skipped this week. It has $35 and we don't need anything right now. I am going to try to get a new rug. Um, I don't know why I bought a $100 rug to begin with, but I do want the same one. So we are going to start putting money back in here to try to get a new rug. It just has a bunch of sand in it and stuff that I can't get out. And um, so I want to replace that for the guests coming up. Entertainment is going to be getting $10, so we are at $50. I don't have any plans for this money, but I am sure with the summer coming up that something will present itself for me to use this money. $50 in there. I always have a hard time getting my money back into this specific envelope. I don't know why. It's always this one, though. Pet Things is getting its usual $10. Um, if you aren't new here, you know that I'm saving up for my dog's grooming appointment coming up. So we are at our goal of $80. That's $60 for the grooming itself and then $10 as a tip. Or not $10, $20 as a tip. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, same 6, 77, 78, 79, 80. That's perfect. 
My dog is actually here with me now. He's just laying on the floor being a good boy that he is. Self-care is getting its usual 40. I'm saving up for a hair appointment and I will keep you guys updated on how much that ends up costing. So we should be at 195. All right, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 195, perfect. Next up is going to be occasions, and that is getting $20. One fifty-five. I wanted to put more into this, but like I said, just didn't have a very good week. I tried to um, go out on the weekdays and do some Instacarting and Walmart Spark, but it was just not happening. Like one day, I think I made $17 and I was up there for like four or five hours. That's not typical. Like today, I went up there for five hours and I made two seventy-six. So <laughs> some days you just never know. Um, it's all a guessing game, but I don't know what to say about that. It just is what it is. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 155. Into occasions. And next up we have medical. Oh, I did get medical insurance, you guys. It is unfortunately going to cost me $303 a month. Um, I'm not very happy about that, and I'm also a little bit nervous about that because if you've ever like signed up for medical insurance before, they have this thing where like, or they have it in North Carolina at least, where based on your income, you might qualify for like a discount. I think it's technically called a subsidy or something like that. Um, I used my income plus a couple thousand from last year to be totally transparent with y'all. Last year, I made about $41,000. And so this year I put in 45,000. Um, but with the Airbnb and everything, I think I'm going to make a little bit more than that. So I am a little nervous about that because if I end up making more, I have to pay back that discount that I got from my monthly payments. So I'm a little nervous about that, um, but we're just going to roll with it and I'm going to keep saving for my in my taxes envelope and we'll see what happens. So 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. I still haven't received my bill from Urgent Care. Um, and then I do have a dermatologist appointment coming up and that bill is due at the appointment. So I think it's going to be $60, but we shall see. I will let you know next week because that's coming up this week. Okay. And very exciting news. I pulled out $900 from my long-term savings goals and I put it in an ally savings account. I decided to go with Ally. I was going between Capital One 360 and Ally, and what I liked about Ally, oh, my light died. Sorry, guys, you're just <laughs> gonna have to see me in the dark. Um, what I liked about Ally is it was all one savings account. With Capital One 360, you had multiple savings accounts. Um, I liked that it was all one savings account, and then you could put things into buckets. So that's why I decided to go with Ally. I'm very excited about that. I'm setting up the account tomorrow and I am waiting for placeholders. I ordered some, um, but I just ordered them like two days ago. So they obviously have not come yet. So there is $200 plus the 40 that's in here. So we're at 240 for home insurance. This needs to be at 600 by the end of September. I think it's like September 29th. Car maintenance is 10% of my earnings from my independent work, like Instacart. And that is getting 62. 
so okay and two so car maintenance has 200 in the bank 250 270 293 10 320 330, 335, 336, 337, 338, 339, 340, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 345. And I do want to keep at least $100 in here at a time because if something goes wrong with my car, I would have to transfer the money from the bank account. And so I just want to have a, like 100 or a couple hundred in here in case something happens. Vet savings has a hundred in the bank. It is getting ten dollars. Oh, let's use two fives. So one hundred in the bank, one ten, one twenty, one thirty in vet savings. I also might keep a couple hundred in here as well, um, just in case something like immediate happens. Oh, I gotta fix that ten, the corner. There we go. Holidays is getting $10. It doesn't have anything in the bank because I only have $10 in there right now. We'll go ahead and use this 10. So there's 20 in holidays. My boyfriend's birthday is coming up. I have no idea what to get him and I barely have any money in here. So wish me luck on that. Black Friday's getting skipped. Winter savings and vacation is getting skipped because I ran out of money when I was doing my budgeting for the cash stuffing um but taxes of course gets five percent it has 200 in the bank right now or 200 in the bank because it's not in the bank yet but it will be tomorrow um but it is getting 31 so now we're at 231 into taxes which is not a bad start considering we're only halfway through the year. I do want to put more money in there, but hopefully with Instacart, I'll be making a lot of money through the week. So yeah. Okay. I did start using this again. I got my new job. I ended up working Friday as well as Saturday. So I made, oh, that's from my old waitressing job. So Friday I made 174. I took $10 out because I like to have change in my, um, what do you call it? Waitressing book. So I had a 20 in there and then I took 10 out of my earnings to have $30 and change in my book. And then I made, oh yeah, I, it says I only made 86 because I guess they don't do payouts for like credit card receipts until Mondays, which today is Monday, but I didn't want to go to work uh, just to get my payout because <laughs> I'm going there on Wednesday. So um, I did make more than that, but that was my cash that I had. So all together we had 250 and that went towards this um, cash stuffing. I would like normally I did want to just use my waitressing money for my savings challenges, but I don't know, not working Instacart on Saturday is kind of messing me up. I didn't make as much as I thought I would at my waitressing job on Saturday, but hopefully that improves. So, save 500 is getting 40. That's going to be me coloring in the 20, the 15, and the 5. Y'all know, or if you're not new here, y'all know that I like to color those in off camera just so you don't have to sit here and watch me color them. So, we are at 1, 2, 20, 40, 50. So, we are officially halfway there, guys. 250. 26 week challenge, which is just actually not a 26 week because I typically do two a week. So that's getting 46. I'm going to color in the 26 and the 20. So we have 40, 5, and 6. Oh, we know that's 46. I don't need to count that. Let's see how much we have all together. I cannot get it together right now. I'm kind of all over the place. Okay. So find the fives. 
So all together, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. So still not very much money in there as much as I'd like there to be, but as long as we keep doing two a week, it's supposed to add up to 702. So we'll see how that goes. And then my $2,000 savings challenge, I put the $500 payment towards my credit card, which is what you guys saw in the beginning of the video. And then this week I'm marking off the 100 and the 40. So 140. And let's see if we actually have the money. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So 140. Oh, it's not in there because I used it to pay off. I forgot. So we're currently at 140, but technically we're at. 640 because I already did the 500 and I wanted to go ahead and make a debt payment with that so that the interest isn't accruing on that instead of it just sitting in this little envelope here. So 640 in that savings challenge. Okay, you guys, and that does it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Leave a comment below. Um, Let's see, what do I want the emoji to be this week? Leave a flower down below in the comment section to enter into the giveaway. The giveaway is gonna be my last cash stuffing of June and I'm gonna give away $50 um, in form of Venmo, PayPal, whatever you feel more comfortable with. I'll have you email me your username or whatever. And um, yeah, very exciting. So I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.